the day of Arafah. Arafah is the real Hajj. There is a place in Hajj, it's a big plain, a land, where the Prophet, peace be upon him, went and sat there from Dhuhr until Maghrib. And there he cried, he made dua, prayers, all the Muslims were crying, they sat down, it's where the Muslims and the Hajj go, they sit down, and when you go there in Arafah, you'll see people crying, some of them wailing, some of them uh, asking Allah, everyone making dua. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a sahih hadith, he says to his angels, look at these people, my servants, they have come, dust on their heads, tired and humbled and simple. Why are they coming here? For me. Oh, my angels, Allah takes pride in that, in the way that befits Allah. He says, bear witness, I have forgiven all of them. And whatever they ask, I will give them. The people of Arafah. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, described it like the day of judgment. People crying and begging and asking Allah and saying, My Lord, forgive me, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. It is one of the... I don't think there is a place in the world you will see more sincere and humbled amounts of people. I'm not saying every one of them. That nothing else is causing them to be like that except that they're in Hajj. Like you see people who are destitute tragedies and they'll call upon Allah yes they're very passionate and very strong but people who have no reason except the fact that you're on Hajj and you are there believing that Allah is closer to you right now than any other time and you're weeping like a baby this is it so Arafah is Hajj we here in not doing Hajj what do we do we share with the people of Arafah on the ninth day ninth day and we, it's a sunnah, not must, it's just a recommended act if you want to do it, that if you're going to slaughter a qurban or a qurbani, an uthiyah, just don't clip your nails and don't cut your hair. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Another thing we do is these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Dhul Hijjah started six days ago. We're on a sixth day now. Tomorrow is the seventh, Friday is the eighth. Saturday is the ninth. Ninth is the day of Arafah. That's when the Hajj people will be in Arafah. The Sunnah act for us to do, recommended, is to fast on that same day while the Hajj people are in Arafah. That's how we connect with them. That fasting on the day of Arafah, which is coming up on the ninth day, which is Saturday, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said in the Hadith, which is in Muslim and others, he said, I hope that fasting this day will cause the expiation of your sins one year past and one year forward, all the minor sins that are left over. So it's a great day. It's a day that Allah loves. Of course, I want to make a note here. Brothers and sisters, fasting the day of Arafah is not obligatory. It's recommended. So don't Look at anyone else who's not fasting that day as if they're doing a crime. Don't say anything. Don't put them down. Don't look at them funny. Don't say, oh, you're not fasting. Don't do that. It's forbidden to do that. Put your brother down on something that is just a sunnah. What you can do is advise them brotherly. Say, subhanAllah, I just want to remind everyone that inshallah, Arafah is coming and fasting it will expiate sins like this. So remind them. But don't come up to every person, fast bro. Why aren't you fasting? Why are you not fasting? It's like as if it's almost the shaitan can get to you and make you feel like you're above them. And that's when arrogance comes on. Some scholars even said, recommended acts, it's good every once in a while not to do them. So that you don't do it as if it's an obligation. Alright, so don't make a big deal out of it. But if you do, may Allah reward you. The tenth day is what? Eid. Eid. Eid al-Adha, we call it. The second big Eid 